hello viewers you are welcome let's solve this problem here we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 80 so what the value of x so now from here what are we going to do so i'm going to write this as x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 so i will send this 80 to the left hand side minus 80 then equals 0 so i'm going to have s to the power of 3 plus s to the power of 2 minus i'm going to rewrite this 80 as 4 or let me say 64 minus 1 minus 16 equals 0 so 64 minus 16 must give me minus 180 so we have s to the power of 3 plus s to the power of 2 then minus this can be written as 4 to the power of 3 and 16 can be written as 4 to the power of what 2 so equals 0 so now according to this so the next thing we're going to do i'm going to connect this and this together those with the same power so x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 then i will connect this one x to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 equals 0 so now from there the next thing we're going to do so we know that we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this will give us a minus b then a squared right plus a b plus b squared so that's what you are going to use for this and also you know we have when well, you have a squared minus b squared so this one is going to be a minus b then a plus b that is different of two squares so now from there so we're going to use that here we're going to use that here by what by having this to be we have what we have x minus what x minus 4 okay s squared plus 4 times s we have 4x then b will be what plus 16 okay then plus here difference of 2 square x minus 4 x plus 4 all equals 0 take note of that so from here you can see we have x minus 4 i have x minus 4 here which means it's common so we're going to factorize this x minus 4 out s minus 4 so we have what we have s squared plus 4x plus 16 here this s minus 4 has been factorized so we have plus x plus 4 equals 0 so now from there so the next thing we're going to do is we simplify this further so s squared here we have 4x plus x we're going to have 5x 16 plus 4 we have what we have 20 so 20 equals 0 so now from there we have what we have this as zero form equation so we have a uh, case 1 okay to be x minus 4 equals 0 then we have the case 2 to be x squared plus 5x plus 20 then equals 0 so now the next thing we're going to do so now from Chris from here this implies that x equals 4 so let's keep that aside as the first solution so x equals what s equals 4 so now let's simplify this our case 2 further so using quadratic formula we are going to have here a is 1 b is 5 which is this then we have c to be 20 so now from there so we have x to be minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so now we move on we have x to be equals this minus b is what b is 5 plus or minus we have b squared that is 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 c times we have 20 all over 2 times a we have 2 so now we have what we have x to be minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 square is 25 minus 4 times 20 
that is what that is 80 okay all over what all over 2 so we have what we have x equals minus 5 plus or minus 25 minus 80 that's going to give us minus 55 all over 2 so we have what we have x to be equals minus 5 plus or minus root of minus 1 multiplied by root of 55 all over 2 so we have x to be equals minus 5 plus or minus the root of minus 1 is i root 5 5 all over 2 so we have what we have this to be the other solution so from there so we are having what we are having three possible solution so the second one here we have x1 here the x2 equals minus 5 plus or minus so plus rather plus sorry x2 is minus 5 plus i root 5 5 all over 2 then x3 is minus 5 okay minus i root 5 5 over 2 so we have these three possible solutions x equals 4 x equals this and this now so let's do the check okay what i'm going to do the check for only the real solution so when you have x to the power of 3 okay plus x to the power of 2 equals 80 so now if you have 4 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 2 is this going to give us 80 so 4 to the power of 3 that will give us 64 plus 4 to the power of 2 that will give us 16 this is going to give us 80 okay so now 64 plus this that will give us what 80 equals 80 can you see now so that's the end of the class if you enjoy the class kindly share this class to your friends or to your colleagues so they can learn from it if you are just watching consider subscribing hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload new content thank you for watching bye bye